Man, that Al Green is popping. What's happening, fam? LA Y'all Movement still moving. Book and title, Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father. Amazon Kindle Create Space. Uh-oh. Come on over to my place. Teddy P, motherfucker. I might grow out my beard on y'all again. People who want to be convenient. you black when it's convenient. I don't like people like that. And I'm going I'm to I'm I'm put this out there. I see a lot of people who are black when it's convenient. What do I mean by that? Let's start with black people who are not from America. Maybe first generation Americans. Maybe their parents. Maybe their parents are from other places in the in the world, not from America. You know. And they raised in America, but their family has a different culture. Y'all bothersome because y'all black when it's convenient. You know, a lot of y'all pull that stunt, you know, <laughs> you black people need to do this. You black people, oh, like, I'm a, like you, you give off the, I'm above you black people. But then what happens when you're doing something uh, positive, it's, oh, you know, I'm great like these black people, great black people. And we're talking about black Americans right now. But you you weren't you're not necess- you're black, but you're not a black American. Your lineage is not black Americans. But when you want to get something good, you a black American. You oh yeah, you know, just like Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and I'm just like the rest of these black people on this job application. Oh, I have I have a fa- my family has excellent history. But then what happens? When you act a fool <laughs> when you act a fool and somebody say, Oh damn, you act man, you black people are trip. I ain't black. I'm Trinidadian. I ain't black. You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? I'm Honduran. I ain't black. I'm Senegalese. You act a fool. And when somebody is uh, like, well, hold up, well, how? Wait, 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 time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. But when you're trying to get all the benefits of blackness, you black. But when you're doing the negative stuff and people going to view you as black, you're going to still go on doing that fuck shit you're doing. But when somebody said, damn, you black folks are tripped, then all of a sudden you're a different kind of black. And see, that's the problem. you conveniently black. But you conveniently make us look bad because when you act a fool, now you know what I did it. I, I when you act a fool, you leave out the fact that you're not black American, and then somebody says, "Hey man, you you black people." This this could be after the event's over, because when you acting a fool or are you acting ignorant? You're trying to take on the stereotypical hood black thing, but then you walk off and say, you're not black. And we peeped that. Not cool. Because you you want to get all the benefits of the good things of blackness, and then when you want to act an ass, you want to put that on us as being black, but then you want to separate yourself and say, you ain't black. Uh-uh, that's not... Uh, uh, uh. Wait a minute. You know, that's what people talk about with... Um, and that's what I mean by, you know, foreign, foreign first generation, like people who are from the West Indies, Central America, South America, Africa, you know, blacks in the, in the UK do it. Like, it's not cool. Not cool at all. And then you got, you know, we, we, we talk about the people who are biracial, who are conveniently black, you know. When I say West Indies, you know, that includes like Puerto Rico and stuff, you know, Spanish speaking blacks, Dominican Republic, all that stuff, you know, Haitians. Because there's nothing, it's, to be proud of your nationality, we get that. But stop trying to hustle a game. Really, you know. All you black people on welfare, wait a minute. But you, oh, but we're different. 
we're on welfare, but we're such and such and such and such. Because wait, 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 wait. So you on welfare, talking down on black Americans on welfare, but you say you not black, but you gonna, you know, but you took the benefits of it. Oh, and you want you want to make point it, make us look bad while you looking like us at the same time. Ain't that about a blip? Like I said, let's the same thing with some of the biracial people. You you black when it's convenient. Then you biracial when it's convenient. You know. <laughs> when you when you're shitting on the black community is because you got the insight because you biracial. But when you need some support to get ahead in life, you I'm black just like you, brothers and sisters. You no, know, you conveniently black. You like, you know, that's affirmative action black. That's what that is. You know? And then, the same thing goes for you non-black people. You know, I ain't, what people call people of color. How about that? Y'all do the same thing. Y'all conveniently black. You know? You want to work at the at the hip hop station because it's to get a job, and you know I'm I'm down with the black culture and black cause. But no, you're not. You just you down with getting paid off for of the black culture, you know. You, but you're not about to uh, spread the love when it comes the other way around. If you know the Asian culture, oh, we like we, we like this, we like that. Oh, really? You do, huh? Cause you're making money at it now okay so and, and, and what I mean by that is say you work in, a, uh, in the music industry in some kind of radio station and, it's a, and the best stations in most cities are usually the black R&B or, or hip-hop stations so you have non black people who are you know DJs and personalities do they, when they get a, a position, do they hire other black people? No, they conveniently black. They was conveniently black when they was learning the ropes from a black person. It was conveniently black when they was in a company of all black people trying to soak up the culture and say they down and everything. But when they get in, like, in a good position to hire people, are they going to hire black people? No, hell no. It could be a nation of Islam hip-hop radio station, and they ain't going to hire now one black person. <laughs> You know, um, same thing with with, uh, with with that's pretty much the business model. Same thing with the political stance. You know, conveniently black. You now, when it's happening to us, yeah, it's their problem. But when it's happening to them, you know, Martin Luther King said, "Why don't you? Where is?" Stop being conveniently black. Their struggle is just like, you know, our struggle is just like their struggle. Whoa, 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 no. You don't see us saying, you know, hey, the black struggle is just like the Hispanic struggle. You don't see us saying, oh, the black struggle is just like the the, 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 the Asian struggle. You don't see us saying the black struggle is just like the, the Jewish struggle. The black struggle is just like the LGBT struggle. We don't even do, no, 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 no. So why are you trying to be conveniently black? Because a lot of times, that's what gets y'all over. Y'all, we discriminated against like y'all. Y'all discriminating against us the same way everybody else is. So why are you trying to be conveniently black when you're trying to get ahead, but then you turn right around and you have a, a selective memory about the shit you was doing? But that's just say, oh, oh, brothers, brothers, no, 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 we in this together. When it's convenient for you, we in this together. But when it when the when the shit really hit the fan, we ain't in this together. You ain't nowhere to be found. I mean, let's be honest. How many non-black Trayvon Martins you seen? How many non-black Tamir Rice's you seen? How many non-black uh, John Crawfords you seen? How many? How, just how many? Like how many non-black Sandra Bland's you seen? Let's be let's be real. How many? You know. How many non-black people get shot in the street taking care of autistic patients? No, no. How many non-black people are getting these getting sentenced to life in 30 years because because of their race? None, none. But you know, but y'all conveniently black. Like until this stuff start happening to y'all, I don't see how y'all gonna you know hop on to all, all our struggles because you sure are not getting the same treatment we get. 
That's just my thoughts, man, on it. I'm out. I'm out.